YouTube, what's up? What's good? You might remember me from last year when I went crazy and I decided to shave my head. It went really, really bad because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I decided to shave my head. <laughs> what a loser. With a hair trimmer, not a clipper. That's what she deserves. Oh my God. Trimmer is like something you might use for like your beard or something. My dad has it. I used it for my head of hair. Unlike my dad's lack of head of hair. <laughs> You. Don't do that. Ah, oh my god. Sorry, I'm kind of into the Kardashians now. This time, this year around, a few people on TikTok have asked me to do a 360 of my hair. I'm giving you more than just that. I'm giving you a 360 and also literally a haircut tutorial on how to get this haircut. I mean this. I mean this one. This is it. Because maybe it's me, but maybe it's Maybelline. I mean, what? Anyways. So if you're here and you've learned from my mistake, well done. <laughs> But anyways, this year, this time around, I've given myself an undercut and I've researched this so I know. I watched YouTube tutorials on how to do it so you can watch me knowing that I've done my research. Dude. Yeah, okay, here's the thing about cutting your hair when it's short. It's like nothing really bad is gonna happen. Liar! Listen, a lot of girls are usually really scared of cutting their own hair because if it goes bad and it's long, it's gonna take a long time to grow. But if you're a girl or a guy and your hair is short or medium, then honestly, even if you mess up, everything grows back like so quick. Liar! Before you know it, nobody can even tell. Listen. Liar! And here's the thing. Firstly, I mean, you're watching this video, so that's good. That means you're doing your research on cutting your own hair. So like, well done, girl. Listen, but you've done your research, you're watching this video. Here's the thing. The whole basis of this haircut is you wanna have it in two sections, I think. I did my research, but I'm not a hairdresser. Don't trust me. So, and the section is this, and you wanna like, Cut it going upward, both sides. After the haircut, you wanna like make sure they're both the same length. But like, let's say for example, I cut this that much shorter, like up to here. Yeah, that's kind of bad, but I could just cut the other side. It's kind of like with your eyeliner. Girls, ladies, guys who put eyeliner. Where are you? It's just like your eyeliner. You put eyeliner on the side and then you put it here and it's too much. So you go over here and you add a little bit more. Bad eyeliner advice. Yeah. With hair cutting, it's like you add a little bit less. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Have you ever had a dreams that anyways, it's not a big deal. Everything's gonna be fine. Let me let me just let me do a 360. So what I have right now is an undercut and it's grown a little bit long. And I've done it myself and I think I've done it pretty well. Let me just show you. <laughs> okay. Cool, uh, so what I wanna do today, this thing I'm scared of doing, I'm even scared to say, it. I'm like so scared. It's not very hard, so it's gonna be the longest at the front, the shortest at the back. And honestly, I kind of like the length now and I am growing it. The only reason why I wanna cut it is because the edges have become really, really damaged from bleaching it. So without further ado, I'm gonna cut that. I'm also gonna uh, do the undercut. I'm gonna shave the undercut really close, almost skin close, only because I don't wanna do it every two weeks. My hair grows really fast. And honestly, I'm like cutting my hair every two weeks or something. So this is why today I am gonna make this really short. Uh, and this is gonna like be nice and long and beautiful. And yeah, I think it's gonna work. I'm starting to like my hair like this. Yeah. I'm gonna get my hair trimmer. Should I do this bit first? Yeah, okay, let's do this bit first, just because this scares me the most. I don't wanna waste all my time doing that, which I already do anyways all the time. Um, and listen, like ever since I decided to shave my head, kind of like cutting my hair has been like not a big deal anymore, which is why I'm not scared to experiment with my hair. Let's experiment together. Okay, you get on top. <laughs> I'm not scared to cut it. Even if it turns out bad, I usually don't care because you know what? I'm gonna fix it. Like, and it's gonna grow again. It's not gonna matter. So without further ado, I'm gonna go get my hair cutting scissors and my hair clipper. And we're gonna clip everything away. Sorry, I just keep moving it. Just like, seems really fun to do. Like Hilary Duff. I can't believe it. I can't believe you're doing this to me. All this energy while you're trying to cut your hair is really bad. Cause I don't wanna get like super energetic when I'm like, Cutting my hair and like oopsies with that being said i'm gonna take off this so this is my hair cutting shirt let me just try and make it look 
cool. Okay, so we got two scissors today. Scissor number one, and that's the main thing we're gonna be using. And the second scissor is just like those scissors. Um, they basically just thin out your hair. So it doesn't cut everything within the hair. And so I would uh, use this after I've cut my hair, just so that it's not like a super, super strict line. Okay, I'm gonna section this properly. And I just like to like add water to the hair. Because I love making everything wet around me. Yeah, so I'm happy with this sectioning of the hair. I'm so scared, oh my god. I have no idea. Okay, this is how much I'm gonna cut. Um, did you just watch me scissor? I forgot you're meant to hold it with your fingers. Gosh. Um, did you just watch me finger and scissor? Okay, it's going up. That's cool. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. Like, it's not gonna be that bad. But like, nobody can really tell if it goes bad other than actual hairdressers when they're cutting your hair. They'll be like, oh, did you cut, cut your hair yourself? I'm like, yeah, I cut my hair myself, but like, also in a lockdown. Okay, so I think over here, it's not very... Oh, silly me, I could never cut a straight line. Add a little bit more water. Okay, so it's like super wet. Because we're doing undercut, there's not that much hair. So this haircut is probably a lot easier than others. Okay. So now I'm getting to the hard bit and that's like in the back. I just want to make sure this is the shortest of the back. But like, I think I've done the line pretty well. And again, like it's okay to take your time. Like, cause we're not really hairdressers if you're doing what I'm doing. Just take your time just to make sure you got it right. And this is the ASMR part of the video. Picture yourself having this haircut at a hairdresser's place. Oh yeah. I've just cut the back quite a bit. As you can tell from this haircut, so this is how long my hair was. That's how long it is now. It almost, it doesn't look like much, but that doesn't matter because I don't want to cut a lot. I just wanted to get rid of the damaged bits. And I'm gonna be like extra careful when I bleach my hair from now on. You should put a lot of coconut oil on your hair, like especially the tips. Just the tip? <laughs> and that way they don't get bleached. Even if you get a little bit of bleach on them, it's not gonna be as damaging. Uh, especially because they're already really bleached. So now, just wanna make sure I get the same length. I think this is how much we want to cut. So I've got it like that. I don't know if I'm holding it right, but it doesn't matter. And this is the most awkward positioning of my life. Coming second right after this position. Ah, uh, London Underground. How I have not missed you. Make sure they're the same. Okay. I think this is about the same length. Right? And like, here's the thing that like breaks my heart doing this haircut is like, I didn't even want it to go this short. It's just like the edges are really damaged that- You don't think I feel bad? I have to, so it's like, I'm not loving it right now. I feel sad. But it was really damaged and it had to go. And like I said before, it's gonna grow back. I'm gonna take better care of it. So it's fine. So that's done. Now I'm gonna thin it out so it's not like a rigid straight line with this scissor over here. First of all, now. Spoiler alert, I actually ended up forgetting to use the thinning uh, scissor just because I was like, there are some bits that are really sticking out and I need to fix that first. And I never got back to thinning my hair. This feels almost kind of therapeutic to me. Now I'm bringing my hair to the back. And basically by doing that, you wanna like bring your hair to the top and cut the longest bits. And that way your hair is completely balanced on both sides. I'm facing the mirror while I cut this just cause I didn't wanna get this wrong. Um, but I hope you can see. <laughs> and you basically do this from the front going all the way to the back of your hair, using the front as a guide until everything is balanced. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've done so far. It feels good. It feels really fresh. I've never felt like my roots be so fresh like in a long time. Now let's do the undercut. I'm gonna do it really, really, really short, like I said. All right, we're gonna section off this entire head completely. Okay, so it's been sectioned off and now we're gonna start woo, woo, shaving. Like I said, I want it to be really short, so I'm not gonna use any guard first. And I'm gonna make a little line. 
I'm not the best at making the straightest line, but that's okay. It all gets corrected in the end. Um, and just uh, to let you know, I met up with one of my friends after having this haircut and he is a hairdresser and he said that he couldn't even tell that it was done by me. I mean, he's probably lying, but still. And I'm gonna speed through the second side uh, that I'm doing and just basically bringing it down in kind of a upside down triangle, which I really like the shape of. And um, then we're gonna fade it away. Okay, so I've done this little. Now I'm gonna start fading the hair. As you can see, I like to keep my hand right on top of my head and that's just to not accidentally cut that part of my hair that I am supposed to keep a little bit longer for the fade. I know I've done like not a great job, but this side, the fade is so good. Can you see the fade? Let me get closer and zoom and like focus. This side, the fade is so good. I'm like honestly so proud of myself for this side only. And here's the thing, I usually like use the trimmer for the fades, but like now I'm kind of le le learning to use this and like this is good. I think it's just, I have to get more familiar with this. You know what, I'm gonna use number one, trimmer number one. So it's like the shortest possible. And I planned on doing all the top part of my hair with the number one guard, except this happened. Whoa. <sighs> the batter just died on me with this. Oh my God. This is the first time ever this machine has died on me and it happens now. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Mother. Urgh. How dare you? <sighs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna obviously have to charge it. Gosh, this is heartbreaking. It's just like a little bit annoying because I'm so dirty. Look at, where am I supposed to go while I wait for this to charge? I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna like sit on the toilet and like flick through TikTok. That's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Tell me you're stupid without telling me you're stupid. I don't know where the charger is. Like seriously, I don't know where it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Technically speaking, like it's not so bad. It's just this bit that needs to be faded. But like still, I don't know where the charger is and it's up. Zero percent. So I don't know what to do. Oh my God. I did not think that was gonna happen. Genuinely disheartened by this. I don't know where my charger is. <laughs> like I'm smiling, but I'm actually kind of sad. I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. Uh, what? Cause this is looking good. And I was like, you know what? This is gonna be the best haircut I've done in a while for myself. And here I am and I don't know. Don't know if I have a charger. I'm gonna go ask my mom. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hey mom! The meatloaf! Oh my god guys, I was, I was about to give up. I like literally gave up. I asked my mom, looked all over the living room, my room, her room, everything. Couldn't find it and then I like gave up and I was like, well, I'm just gonna go back and be like, that's the haircut everyone. <laughs> Cause I don't know where my charger is. And I found it. Now I'm gonna charge this. Like for a little bit, just so I can like finish my haircut because it's almost finished. I love how this always happens to me. I'm gonna charge it now. I'm gonna scroll through TikTok. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. I never thought it would come to this, but I have to murder my best friend. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I managed to charge this up to 10%. So I'm gonna be super quick. And I honestly just didn't want to like sit around the bathroom full of hair. I just like want to have shower. It's like really itchy. So I'm gonna be really quick. I'm gonna the rest of it. I think it's a really good haircut. And I'll show you the results at the end after I shower. I think I'm not gonna wash my face because I don't want to do my makeup again. Anyways, let's uh, do this very carefully and finish this really quick. Oh my God, I'm scared. Ah, I'm scared. Okay, let's do it. Oh my God, oh my God. All right, so we were cutting right there. Remember to always be prepared, unlike me. Remember how I said because we're not professionals, you shouldn't rush a haircut? Well, I was rushing here, obviously, because I was worried it's gonna die on me again. And I made a mistake that could have easily been avoided. This is not a very good fade, but I'm panicking. Okay, it's still at 10%. Oh, I should have not been panicking so hard. Take it easy. Let's stay playful together. Oh my god. Ugh. So it actually cut shorter because I had this down now when I was cutting when it was up the last time. God damn it. Shorter than I wanted it to be. I think I had a really good fade here. It's not that good anymore. But I've made the mistake. I'm going to carry on with it. It's still a nice fade, I think. Time for irrelevant story time. I'm so ADHD that I went through all of my primary school 
not once doing my homework and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I just want to make one video where I know what I'm doing and I thought this was that video. I thought this was the video where I'm gonna be like, oh look at my hair, I've done it great, no mistakes. But mistakes are bound to happen when you're cutting your own hair. Sadly, it's bound to happen because I don't do this every day. I barely do this. But like they're not major. Like I didn't mess up this part and that's the most important thing. It's just gone shorter than I wanted it to be but it's still fine. I think I'm actually kind of dumb, you know? Let me just do this part. I think it's a little bit but I genuinely started finding cutting your own hair really therapeutic. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to cutting my hair at a hairdresser's place. Okay, I'm actually like happy. Ow! I'm happy with this haircut. <laughs> ah! Ew, is that gum? Anyways, I'm gonna go shower and I'm gonna like show you guys the final look. But like, I'm, I'm happy with my head of hair. Let me show you all the way around. Mm hmm. I'm pretty happy with my chicken chicken head. Yeah, yeah. Wow, my haircut is better than yours. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. See you in a bit. <laughs> Hello guys, what's up? This is the finished hair product. I tried so hard uh, not to get any make uh, any water on my face because uh, I didn't want to like redo my makeup, but unfortunately, like water went on my face. All right, here goes. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> but at least I didn't have to do my eyeliner again. But anyways, this is my finished hair product, and damn, look. Look at this like fade. <gasps> it's almost so good. It's like the fact that I've done it by myself is so good, I think. Like, look at that, damn. You know, just saying. And then the other side. Like this is, okay, this is a 360 of my hair like this. Obviously it's like still wet, but we're gonna style it right now. I'll show you how we're gonna style it. Uh, let me just drink some water. <clears throat> thirsty. You guys make me thirsty. Just kidding, you make me nervous. <laughs> mm. Okay, so here's this 360 of my hair. My hairdresser friend told me this. If you notice, my hair from the back looks very flat. And that's because I cut the line too high. So this is a mistake you should try avoiding if you are doing this haircut. Anyways, we're gonna start it with two products. Uh, just because I really like this wet hair look. So for that, I know with the undercut, they usually tell you to blow dry it so it stays up and it goes to the back. And yeah, you could do that, uh, but I don't want that look. I just want this. I want it to be like nice and fresh, almost like wet. The first product is olive oil. You wanna put that on first. I'm like, you could hair dry your hair, but I don't, I just like leave it. Depending on how much hair you have, I think I need a little bit less since I cut it. <laughs> rub it in your hands, apply it right here. And like, bear in mind, my hair is still wet, so I guess it's free for us. Water, olive oil, gel. I'll show you the one I use, and I really like it. It's also really cheap. It's Beach Mat by Shkwar for sure. So, but like, honestly, you can use anything. As long as you have olive oil, you are it. And I don't want to add too much because I don't want my hair to be full of products. So just that much. And rub it all over my hand, rub it all over my hair. And like you could like comb your hair or you could just hand comb the I kind of like it to be messy and stuff. And like as it dries, it just gets better. I'm gonna keep it to the sides, you know? There we go. By the sides, I mean like the middle part. I might keep it like this. So this is the final hair look that I'm going with. Honestly, I'm really happy with it. I think I did mess up, but like not that much. Like not enough for it to be a bad haircut. I'm really, really, really happy. The, the most important thing is like the edges are cut off. So now it's like not a problem anymore. Cause it was like so down. Damaged. Like even my mom was like, your hair is like really damaged and it's like really like dry. I was just like, it's not dry, it's just the ends. So I got rid of the ends and now, voila, I'm so happy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I feel like maybe it was quick, but I'm so happy with my hair. If Brand Mondo is watching this, I love you. Like, I just want you to know I love you. You're cool. Um, the first haircut I ever did was this video by him. And then I decided to like experiment. If you're considering cutting your hair, dude, just do it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you cut your hair if you want to. And as you can tell, it's not so bad. It's not so I usually give myself lines, but today I didn't want to do that. But yeah, I hope you consider subscribing. Peace out. Love you. Bye. <laughs>